Hey guys, what's up? I'm Julie from Seymour Snakes and we're going to be cutting some ball python eggs today. Uh, it's my first clutch back in 10 years. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, and this is a normal girl to a leopard OD het DG boy. Um, this is a split clutch with my good friend Miranda at MJoy Morphs. And yeah, let's get to it. We got seven eggs. Right here. Okay. Okay, you can see we got seven eggs here and she did lay one slug. Um, some of these will be available once they are out and eating and all that good stuff. Um, Mama is also available and she is a really big girl. She's about 2,500 grams empty. And we will get started here with egg number one. And we're gonna do the old pinch and roll method here. I wish they had invented that um, 10 years ago when I first started breeding ball pythons. That would have been really handy. Oh, fun fact, this female actually was bred to um, my leopard OD pet desert ghost male, but she also was paired with a super pastel banana before that. And whatever we have here, I am genuinely confused at what this might be. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like either of those things. Let's see here. Um, wow, that is something really neat. Can you see in there? How's that? I really couldn't even venture to uh, say what that might be. <laughs> or as Chris Hardwick, Hardwick likes to say, that's a, oh, I think that's definitely a pastel, all right. Dude, what is that thing? Wow, that's nuts. What are you, little guy? It looks like a calico to me. Um, which would be a trip because that female had some calicos last year. All right, let's keep going. And that clutch was also a big mystery because that was like some retained sperm situation. And this one has a nice little window. I can really feel the baby in there. Dude, I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's really confusing. <laughs> I had a little bit of a feeling this mama was gonna throw some uh, interesting stuff again because last year was so crazy. I'm having a hard time getting a grip on this one because the baby's so big in there. First baby is, that's wild. Alright, let's do a little Okay. 
take a little more off there. That looks like oh, my baby. That to me looks like a normal. It would be nice if it was a leopard OD, but um, could be OD. But for now, I'm just gonna call it a normal. Looks like a normal. Um, if the leopard OD het DG boy got the job done, then that baby will be 50% het for Desert Coast. Here. Really hoping for um, lots of females out of this clutch. That would be superb. Something interesting for sure. Holy guacamole. is pretty um gee willikers so i'm seeing leopard here not too sure what else definitely looks like some leopard going on though Hopefully Leopard OD. The pattern seems really narrow. Um, and I have this little theory about my Desert Ghost hats. Not my Desert Ghost hats, but Desert Ghost hats in general. And I've kind of noticed that they tend to run darker um, than others seem to appear um, and that might just be that there's a lot of poor quality pastels out there that people are breeding but um, it seems to me that the pastel pastels that are 100% het desert ghost run pretty dark so you know and it's gonna take a, a while to prove my theory but uh, or just, you know, it'll take a few years to see if uh, there is some visual component to when an animal is heterozygous for desert ghost. Cause that would be really cool if we could tell which ones were and which ones weren't. And of course there is that shed um, laboratory lady who, or I guess she's a doctor, uh, <laughs> um, where you can send your sheds in. I highly recommend doing that as an awesome project to get into. I 
I'm seeing a leopard OD here. I can't really see in there very well, but that seems awfully bright for a leopard. Hi, baby. Looks a lot like the dad. Hi, are you okay in there? Looks almost exactly like dad, actually. So that's very cool. Hopefully it's a girl. I would be thrilled. All right, we got three more. I have been anticipating this clutch for like two, three years now. It's been a very long wait. I had uh, my lesser girl um, completely slug out on me last year and that was my first clutch back. So <laughs> this is my real first clutch back and it's nice to actually have some some eggs, some viable eggs and some babies. But it's like a real test of, you know, whether you really want this or not when you have a situation like that because you spend all this time um, taking care of your animals and feeding them and weighing them and obsessing over them in general. And, you know, you notice that one's gravid and then the next thing you know, she lays a big old pile of slugs for you. Okay, here we have another mystery baby. This also looks like a calico, maybe a lesser. That looks an awful lot like a lesser to me. Um, don't know how that happened. <laughs> That's a real... That looks like a lesser. Miranda, what did you do? Who did you pair with Rush? Why am I seeing lesser in here? Oh, wow. Rush is the name of the, the female whose clutch this is. Oh, that's a very pretty blue-eyed snake in there. Very neat. That looks like a lesser or a butter to me, though. I am thoroughly confused at this point because I was not aware that um, there was lesser in the pairing or in a pairing in, with this female. But like I said earlier, she did, uh, she had a complete mystery clutch last year. She had, it looked like a multiple sired situation uh, from re a bunch of retained sperm. So maybe this is another retained sperm deal going on here. I don't know. I was not expecting lessers at all. <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> this egg is really tight. I love these scissors for this job. Oh, I can feel the baby moving in there. That's good news. We are on day 53 and I incubated, uh, every time I temp gunned my eggs, it was at 89.9. So I feel pretty confident here. I am what on earth is that? Okay. I would, I would go out on a limb here, not really a limb, um, and say this is at least a double sired clutch. If it was a triple sired clutch, that maybe that'd be a world's first. I don't know. That looks like a normal to me. Pretty. Maybe OD. Doesn't really look like OD to me though. Looks more like a normal. Would be a really dirty OD. <laughs> Could be a 
um, taken after Mama because she is kind of this cool reduced pattern and she's a little bit lighter than uh, some girls. Got a little bit of gunk going on there. And that one is really, really throwing me for a loop. That doesn't look like a pastel or a banana. This is the last one. Okay, inch and roll, inch and roll. There we go. Oh, geez. <laughs> um, hi, little baby nose. Okay, well, I cut this in such a way that it's very difficult to see in there, but um, that looks like another lesser to me. It's got blue eyes. Maybe you can see that. see a pretty little blonde head in there. I see some real interesting white. Um, this is really uh, quite the mystery here. Who the daddy could be. I have no clue at this rate. <laughs> All right. I'll pop these guys back under the camera and back in the incubator to do their thing. So this one is really by far, well, I guess it's not that confusing now because it looks, it looks like a lesser, I guess. I just wasn't expecting that at all. Um, although it looks lighter than a lesser. It doesn't look as dark as the other ones. So I, yeah. It actually looks kind of like an Enchi Mojave, but I, I know that's not involved in this pairing, I would imagine, so. Yep, cool, okay, that's seven, seven eggs. All the babies look pretty good. Okay, so update on this clutch. We had a surprise sire, um, a male that I have actually sold. Sold him about six months ago. Um, must have snuck in a lock during my move, we bought a house and uh, um, I packed, you know, all the adult snakes into two tubs to move three minutes away to the new house. And I guess the male must have snuck a lock in there because we have his babies here. Um, and we actually hit on something new and unique too, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna give it a name just yet, but um, Really excited with how some of these babies turned out. The pattern on them is just absolutely wild and something I've never seen before in over a decade of staring at snakes. So I'm just gonna run through these real quick. Um, this is a nice little female butter plus something else. She's got some really wild sides. I've never Never really seen anything like that before, uh, unless it was some kind of serious het influence. Um, she's got really pretty blue eyes. Really like that girl. Um, here's her sister, who is very similar. She's got some really good neck striping going on that I just love. She's got the same effervescent bubbly business coming up on the sides and her tail is just wild as well. Um, really just love how these turned out. I, I mean, I had no idea <laughs> this was going to happen. 
uh, when I was cutting those eggs, you could have knocked me over with a feather. One of these babies in here, I'm gonna get bit by, I can pretty much guarantee that. This is our nice little male in here. He is an inchy butter plus something else. Um, this is the first one I cut and this, I mean, I can see why I was so confused because he's gorgeous and he's definitely not a leopard OD and he's definitely not a pastel banana. <laughs> not even close. Um, he is a gorgeous little boy though. And he's definitely carrying whatever mama was carrying. A little surprise gene in there. Ooh, she mad mad. Come here, little mad mad. Let's get on camera. This girl took me for. <laughs> Did you see that little slow bite? I've never had a snake try to chomp me like that before. So this girl really threw me for a loop because I thought she was for sure my uh, leopard OD baby. But she is a leopard. Mad baby. She's a leopard inchy. Um, she's got really nice little belly going on here with some killer pied markers going on. So um, the dad who actually got the job done is a hypo butter inchy leopard hoss het pied. And I think it's, he had a really good ringer. Uh, Really, really awesome ringer. Um, and it's plain to see some of these babies are screaming hets. Which is, oh, don't bite your sister. That's very rude. You are being so rude tonight. Yeah, she's spicy. I'm gonna be hanging on to her for sure. Oh, she's so mad. Oh, she's so mad. <laughs> okay, I might have to put you somewhere else where you can't keep harassing us. So we got these two little males here that are just wild as can be. Please don't stress yourself out, little lady. I really want you to just chill. Um, these boys have quite the wonky pattern. This boy here is a little bit more exaggerated and he's got really nice belly going on too with a lovely Set of pied tracks there. Put you back. This boy also has a different, but kind of similar belly. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome to have a couple of uh, double head hypo pieds in the mix there. I mean, they're all double heads, but. Um, Okay, who didn't we show yet? The leopard butter, right? Did we do both those butter girls? I can't remember now. She's so mad. She's a mad lady. Sit down. Don't bite me now. Oh, okay. Or bite me. That's fine. I love you anyway. Okay. So this girl is really neat. She's a leopard butter possible enchi. She looks a lot like dad. Um... She's also carrying that, that new little gene we're talking about. And she's got, I mean, she's just gorgeous. You really can't complain when you get a snake like that. I love her, her eyes. Leopards just, I mean, in com combination with uh, bell morphs, they just have the prettiest eyes ever. Um, yeah, so we got some really awesome surprise babies from this clutch and I am still kind of shocked that my male got the job done. Um, kind of the shock of my life there. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really planning on working with those jeans anymore, hence the reason I sold him, but here we are. So I got a bunch of uh, double het <clears throat> hypo 50% het hides here. And some of them are just stunning and our new little surprise gene we've got going on is also uh, no chore to look at, if I do say so myself, so. Okay, well thank you for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe, send it to your mom, send it to your dad, send it to your friends who like snakes. Um, 
clearly this was not just a cut and dry clutch. Um, we have a at least a double sire going on here, um, which adds some fun to the mix. But thank you for watching and check me out on Instagram at Seymour Snakes and Morph Market also at Seymour Snakes. <laughs>